Hey, peace family. Art Morrison III here with another episode of The Third Degree. And this one's going to be brief because I'm on the road, a road trip from Atlanta to New Jersey uh, with Caitlin. Say hi. Hi. And I wanted to share a quick story with you about this last day in Atlanta and something that, not really that I learned, but just a realization I had. So, we, we do this thing called Turo. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Turo app. It allows you to rent out your car to people who are looking to rent a vehicle. It could be one day, it could be three weeks, right? So, this young lady rented my car for a day. And when you rent your car, you have to take photos of the vehicle to ensure that, you know, the damage before and after, if there was any damage, of the rental is the same, right? So, as I was taking pictures of my car, you know, obviously there's nothing wrong with my car, it's perfectly fine, but that hasn't always been the case. So I'm taking photos of my car and I'm just remembering, man, I remember when that person rear-ended me and my bumper was hanging off. Man, I remember when I hit that deer and the light was broken and so on and so forth. And I'm reflecting on the money that I put into fixing the car, I had to pay cash out of my pocket. There was a moment when I didn't have insurance. I just remembered all these, I guess, negative things or you know, bumps in the road or obstacles that uh, came along during the journey of having a beautiful car, right? And I drive a, a 2015 Benz. It's pretty nice, you know, luxury vehicle. But my point in saying that, the analogy I'm gonna make is on your business journey, right? You're never ever going to remember all the obstacles and bumps that you hit. They're gonna hurt, they're gonna suck. Trust me, when that person rear-ended me in a parking lot and tried to hit and run me, it was like the worst thing that could ever happen during that time. I didn't have the money to fix it. I remember paying the $3,000 to get the bumper fixed and it just hurt so bad, but my car was nice and shiny after and I moved on. So I'm saying all that to say is during your business journey, do not, please do yourself a favor and do not dwell on, just don't dwell on the bad shit that happens because when your life takes a turn for the better, you will not remember any of those things, I promise you, you won't remember. No matter, the worst things that ever happened in my life, when good things happen, I know, and maybe it's just me, maybe I'm just super optimistic, and maybe this should be a lesson to you to be more like that. But either way, do not dwell on the tribulations or the trials, dwell on the successes. Speaking in basic language, don't dwell on the bad shit, because the good shit outweighs it and wins every time right i even I, I had a torn acl in college a torn knee acl and meniscus and the best season i ever had in my career was my first my rookie season playing professional basketball right after the knee injury so sometimes i see this my scar in the mirror and i'm like oh yeah i forgot i tore my acl I totally forgot because so many positive things have happened since that negative event that I, I totally forgot about it. And I promise you all that if you constantly are focused on the next positive thing or the next goal you can achieve, things that got in the way of the previous goal are not gonna matter as long as you don't let them get to you. Do not dwell on the bad shit. All right, don't dwell on the rear-ended accident in the parking lot. Don't dwell on when you hit the deer late at night driving home from the bar. Don't dwell on it because you're not gonna remember it when you get your new car, right? Or when you, whatever the case, we can make a ton of analogies, but don't dwell on the bad shit. Focus on the next big thing, the next good thing coming your way, and you'll always see success. Thank you all, that's the Third Degree episode for today. Don't forget, I'm Art Morrison III. Follow me on every social media platform at Art Morrison III, as in the third. And uh, like and subscribe below, or wherever it's at. And I'll see you guys next time, peace.